Hi and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange True Colors. And we are continuing with Steph's story and getting closer to the arrival of Alex, which I don't know if we'll see, but I'm, I'm having a cozy time with this story, so I think we should just get into it. But before we do, um, there's still construction going on. Uh, they were stopped for an hour or something, probably having lunch, and now they're at it again. So if you hear noises in the background, like low drums and stuff and if you see my camera move it's because this is right next door like they're digging into the ground and doing shit i have no idea what they're doing but they're doing stuff but i still want to record because i can't do it later because then i'll have no energy so i gotta do it now so you gotta deal with it hopefully my mic cuts out most of it so you won't hear it but if you do then you know what it is that said let's get into the episode am i that one for there's a mix between two songs right now. Steph? This sounds weird to me. You know you okay. can talk to me, right? About anything. If there was something to talk about... It's just... You, you haven't been yourself lately. You're working crazy hours, dodging calls. We're your family. We're here for you, you know? I can't help but notice my mic just wobbling because of the construction. Citizens of Haven, do not touch those dials. I have a jam-packed show for you, going all night long. Of course, I'll keep playing you the dopest music in all the land. Of course, I'll answer your calls. Is she getting features. addicted to the attention and around this, or is she course, just trying to distract I'll herself? I'll update you on the saga Cat? of the record store Devil Cat and my futile attempts to tame. Hey, her we're matching heart. today. But I first, also got a, like a red red brownish hoodie on. But first, another track. Nice. Okay. Okay. Go. Go, go, go. So, task list. Let's have a look. Same shit different day read all ads answer at least two calls records read uh, this is very well used well Kind let's get the ads listeners. over by now you've heard me talk about everything the black lantern is famous for great food great beer great service and great atmosphere so what are you waiting for one more reason to go then consider Happy hour? Dinner hour? Dinner hour? I don't know. Dinner, is there a happy hour? Hour? Um, don't worry. You can still get dinner outside of that one hour. But yeah, dinner hour at the Lantern, it's the best. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better. It's easier to read the text when it's on this background. To... If you read it here, it's so. Uh, live music? Live music on Monday evenings. It's so busy. Or maybe Sunday evenings? If you show up on Sunday and there's no music, that's how you'll know it's on Monday. Drop okay. by today and tell them Steph sent you. Phone call. Hello. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey. Fireworks. Right. Um, thanks for taking my call. Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. I was actually just kind of hoping to chat with someone. Um. I don't know. Dang. Three weeks alone in a little box? I thought I was a boss for surviving six hour shifts in mine. What can I say? I'm a level 90 loner. Hmm. How about yourself? <laughs> Probably closer to like level 10. All right, fireman. I think I'm close to level Since 90. This is still a fortune telling show. How about this? You can tell me my fortune. <laughs> well, I'm no radio psychic, mm. but I'll do my best. What would you like to know? What are the odds I end up being alone forever? Hmm. Okay. Well, is this a fear or an aspiration? Fear? Seems like Steph wants well, somebody. It's the natural endpoint of my current trajectory. And I guess if I'm gonna end up there, I want it to at least be on purpose. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher or whatever to look into. 
But I can tell you this. Getting away from everyone is the easy part. Sometimes it's even too easy. Mm. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I know all about that. I thought you might. So I learned this the hard way, but the idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad, they're the ones who end up calling in the radio shows just to hear a stranger's voice. But that wasn't really mm. a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. And thank you for listening to KRCT. I don't know if being alone is... The thing about being alone a lot, I've learned, is when you want... Like, even if I know that I could do things with people, I choose not to. <laughs> even though I want to sometimes be with people, I don't really want to also at the same time. Because I've been like, if I go I long stretch... to talk up response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, uh, if I go long stretches of being alone i'm like oh i feel like i wanna i wanna see somebody you know but i don't take the effort of actually hanging with people so do i want to be alone or do i just want do i not want to be alone but i don't want to make the effort of actually reaching out because sometimes it feels like like i can't complain about being alone if i don't actually make the effort of of trying to talk to people or hang with people you know and it still seems like I'm choosing to be alone, <laughs> despite having the option. Sirs, if I want to get paid. Yep, yep. Uh, let's read another ad. Uh, let's go with ice cream. Here's an cream. offer from our most loyal sponsors, Avalanche Ice Cream. Open on Halloween. No weird gimmicks. I thought, in the beginning, I thought this uh, stuff thing was like right before Alex came here, but we're in Halloween, so we skipped May. Moved to Halloween, so I didn't really check the year, so I was just thinking it was right before Alex got here. So I guess it's like half a year until Alex gets here then, like after Halloween. Avalanche will be open on Halloween. So if mom stuffs a coat under your princess dress, know that you can swing by Avalanche and stick your sweaty face in the freezer. They'll be giving out free cones to anyone. In costume, who does the monster mash? What's the monster mash? Uh, I don't know. Who wears a costume? So, you know, dust off that Dracula cape and sink your fangs into a That's scoop a lot of free ice cream. <gasps> anyway, check it out. Feel like a, a loose uh, situation. Okay. And Grimley's. KRCT is proudly sponsored by Grimley's uh, Auto Sales Repairs? Repairs. Grimley's Auto Repairs, Haven Springs' most trusted name in automotive service. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Grimley's record. They've proudly served our community for... The love of it. The love of the game. <laughs> Which game? The car game. The community game. Uh -huh. Name a game. They love it. And that's why they're in this business. Uh -huh. So if you or someone you love is a car... You owe it to yourself to check out Grimley's. Okay. Still got chores to do in the store. Better head out there. Okay, so we have read all ads, answer to calls, read chores on laptop, complete record store tasks, listen to your original song, tally foosball score, add to Ethan's drawing. Um, okay, and then we got some new matches. The 33, I feel like that's nine years difference that's a little bit much even though i do love this N not that nine years is that much but i feel like if you're gonna have that big of an age difference i think i want her to be like 25 but then you you could say that 24 and 25 isn't much different but eh. i'm gonna go no not so much a gym rat as a gym weasel i mean i don't know if uh if our girl is interested in gym but you can connect with people who have a different interests so i'm gonna go yes Rita, let's not waste each other's time. 29, sure. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna keep swiping for a little bit. Hattie, 28, who put the jet, put the ram in the ramalang ding dong? I don't know, but I'm loving 
the the hair and the lipstick vibe. I love that kind of style. Uh, Tori, 22, check out my synthwave project with Holiday. 22 isn't necessarily too young, but if you want something serious, I don't know if this is the vibe. But then again, I went into a long relationship at 21, I think, and I don't think that's... yeah, it's fine. Uh, okay, keep swiping. CC21, this user has an Android tagline. She looks like very into parties, so maybe not the super vibe. What's going on on that one then? Keg25, I'm Keg. I'm into Keg. <laughs> Corinne, gorgeous. Love the the braids and the, the jewelry. This user has an Android tagline. Sure. Shayna, 25, low key disability activist, high key homosexual. Let's go. Oh, you got kitty. You got kitty. That, you, that, that could be me, except like the H. But like that could be me, like you got the gingerish hair, and then you got a cat. Well, I don't got a cat yet. I will get a cat eventually, though. And I think they look sort of like burgundy and blueish. I have blue glasses like that. You've seen? Well, you might have not seen them, but if you check the thumbnails, there is once that I wore it a couple months ago. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Yes. Fuck you, app. Why fuck fuck the app? The app got no issues. Uh, okay, so we got those, but let's... Oh, we only got one message. Interesting. So, stuff has gone MIA on everybody then. So let's see, I think like, was March the last time? Like we checked the package, yes. So March, and then suddenly we're in September. Yo, did you still want to chat later, stuff? All right, well, guess I'll assume something came up. Hit me up when you get this. Been a few days, UK. Okay? Dude, you got me kind of worried. Jeez, guys, stop with... Like, one of my screens are much more wobbly than the others. <laughs> it's just like wobbling like crazy. Um, and I really want to talk to you, especially since tomorrow is... Well, you know what tomorrow is. Hit me up. What is tomorrow? I don't know what tomorrow is. What happened with, uh, with Fiona? Didn't you guys connect? Did you just... Do, are you just ghosting everybody? If you're looking for a long-term relationship, Steph, then you, maybe you should stop this. Get it together, Steph. Best foot forward. Uh, let's make Man, the first move. What do I even say? I don't know. Uh, ask about her hair, ask about her music. Actually, forget it. <laughs> ask about music. Dope setup. What style of music do you make? Oh god, you're gonna think I'm so pretentious. Try me. Is it like part way between EDM and experimental bedroom synth pop? Sounds cool. Whatever, that sounds right as hell. <laughs> Thank you. I'm playing in F FT Collins. What does uh, like I thought feet, but okay, next weekend you should come. Would if I could, but I'm working all weekend. Hey, can I ask you something? Shoot. Did you used to be in a band? Oh, she knows. Yeah. I was for a while, yeah. I thought so. Two-piece, kinda punky, kinda alt. Drugstore makeup. That's it. Holy shit, I saw y'all in SLC at Atomic DK. <laughs> That's crazy, what are the odds? I like the show, what were you doing in SLC? Uh, how do you like the show? So what do you think? Y'all were good. I had like an immediate crush on your guitarist. Ooh, ouch. I, w I would say so did I. <laughs> Cute. Ah, you see, he's a cool person. I'd offer to introduce you, but we're not really on speaking terms. I'm sorry to hear that. Anyway, whatever I'm talking to you, not her. So what are you up to these days? No more band? Uh, I have no idea. DJing at a radio station, chilling in Haven Springs. Um, DJing at a radio station. That sounds cool. Yeah, I get to force my musical taste on everyone's throat, which is pretty sick. The dream. Well, I should get going. It was cool to get to talk to you. Your band was really good. Ask her out, say goodbye. Um, I don't know if I want to be with somebody who crushed on my axe, so maybe just say goodbye. 
Sierra and Dory. Cool. Rita. Uh, I really don't feel up to playing this game right now. But I do, so let's I make the first move. I should put on a happy face and play nice. But God, I don't know if I have the energy. Then just delete the app. Play nice, be real. Play nice. Yo, he's, oh my God, is that doing anything dope for Halloween? Damn, that's a lot of exclamation points. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I guess it is. Not really a Halloween kind of gal, but I take it you are. Just making conversation. I don't know if she is. I love Halloween, but... Mm, just making conversation. I guess I don't really feel strongly about Halloween. Just, you know, being topical. Sorry, I'm shit with small talk. I don't have the temperament for it. Um, okay. Tell me about your passion. Tell me about your regrets. Tell me about your fears. Let's go with fears. Okay, you want to get real? Tell me something real about Rita then. What are you afraid of? The collapse of society. You and I have different priorities. Look, I'm not proud of it, but I have no practical skills. I have a bachelor's degree in fucking marketing. And I'm about six months away from a master's. I know how to sell shit to people. If I'm ever placed in a position where I have to contribute selflessly to a community and build everything from the ground up, I'm fucked. Never learned how. Never too late to start. Kind of think it might be. Your turn, tell me about your fears. There was this guy on uh, TikTok that I watched this morning. I watched some of his YouTube as well. I wish I remembered their name right now, but put on the spot, I don't. But this guy has great tips. I think he is um, a psychologist or something. I don't really know the correct term. Like, you have psychologist, you have... But anyway, he's dealing with... Um, a lot of psychological issues and talking a lot about it and he has some really great tips and he talked about this person who he said um, that he hadn't done anything for the last two years he was just in the same spot and that he can't start anything because it's gonna take years to learn or do what he wanted to do and y you all know how it is like when you have you don't want to like study something or start a new job or things that take effort for a long amount of time you feel like is like it's gonna take years to get there so why start now it's too late to start now or that kind of mindset this guy ta said that the psychologist said that um it's better we need to learn how to fail or we need to learn how to do not enough because okay so you want to start working out because you want to get the summer body but it's too close to the summer so you won't be able to do it not that i think you should get a summer body by the way because i think that's all bullshit but as an example so okay it's may it's too late to start training and get a summer body you know so what do you do you don't start training but if you have a mentality of of thinking like it doesn't matter if i just do it once at least that's once you know like and that might accumulate over the years if you start studying maybe you can take some courses on something you're interested in and maybe in five years you will have gotten somewhere without even knowing just taking tiny steps but if you give up before you even started then you have that kind of mentality that it needs to be perfect every time you try something new or in two years you need to be there if not it's all a waste of time but it's not a waste of time to just take small steps i think we all need to remind ourselves of that like me one thing that i wanted when i was younger was learn japanese and i was taking a step towards it i took a class on it and i'm kind of good at language if i put in the effort but i think i often think that what's the point of putting in the effort if i'm not gonna like really focus on it and actually get good what's the point of just learning all the the, the symbols again or the the letters again because i've forgotten it's been over 10 years since i took that course you know like what's the point of me doing that when i'm just gonna forget again anyway and that's just the wrong mentality maybe in 10 years i'll be really good if i just keep taking small steps and okay so i might have to restart it several times but i might get really good at the alphabet or something i think it's a very good mentality to have that doing things that are not enough is better than not doing it at all he explained it much better and uh i'll put his name here 
because I'm sure I'll figure out uh, the name by the time I, I post this. So you can check him out. He has really great tips. And the the TikToks, if you if you need um, fast information pace, then you can you can go on his TikTok. And if you want slow content or like uh, one hour videos, I think he has a lot of or 40 minutes or something, then you can go there and get a deeper dive into his uh, his tips and tricks because they're really good. They're really, really good. Uh, tell me about your fears. Uh, never feeling satisfied. Some big tragedy in my future. Never feeling satisfied? I'm afraid I'm just incapable of being satisfied. What do you mean? I don't know. No matter how good things are, like objectively, there's always something missing. And by the time I notice, I've always already painted myself into a corner. And the only option is to blow it all up and start over. So what's missing? Wish I knew. Maybe you're right then. Maybe you'll never be satisfied. Why are you being an asshole? Please stop. <laughs> She's not being an asshole, by the way. Well, may I don't know. Sometimes it's harsh truth. And sometimes it's being an asshole. And sometimes it's a way to make you defend the position that you have. It forces you to think, but of course I can be satisfied. I just don't know what it is yet. And then once you get that mindset, you might find the thing that the solution to your problems because they're they're <laughs> giving you an answer that makes you defend yourself and if you defend yourself you're defending the bad thoughts you have so i don't know if I, what i want to say i kind of want to ask why you're being an asshole because i want to hear if that's what she's thinking too dude what the hell does this tactic ever pay off for you there's no tactic so you're just being an asshole for your own amusement i don't think i'm being an asshole maybe that was too harsh Okay, so maybe asshole is a little harsh, but dude, can you chill a little? You said you were scared of having to contribute to a community. This is a really shitty way to learn. I'm sorry, do you want to come over? Excuse me? <laughs> do you want to come over to my place? After all that? You don't have to. Absolutely. Hey, I like this girl. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'll message you when my shift ends. Deal. <laughs> hey, a person who who doesn't always just say what you want to hear, it's kind of refreshing. I mean, it depends on where and how they say it, because uh, YouTube comment sections and TikTok comment sections can be terrible. Um, but, you know, like, some people are good at making you face your thoughts. And I think that's a way to do that. Um... Let's see, is there anything else? Sticky dinos. Did we Man, need to check the computer? Like we're a real radio station now. Haven't been on top of my game lately, I guess. Well, this is the same graph. Did did it go down again? And then up? Like, I don't... Psh, Kasha. You're still cool as hell. Kasha, Kasha, Kasha. Can I remember now? Okay, let's start at the bottom of this this time. Wall of Fame. Hey, Cash. Hope you don't mind, but I found a bunch of photos and flyers and stuff in the back room. It's weird to think the shop used to do stuff like that. We should try to do more events. Recapture the glory days. Anyway, I framed a bunch of them and made kind of a Wall of Fame. Thoughts? A fantastic idea, honestly, and I'm glad you're doing something with all that old stuff. Careful digging around back there, though. Some of what we hide back there should never be unearthed. Believe it or not, the shop used to be quite the spot. I guess nobody stays hip forever. Speaking of hip, can you explain to me what in the hell K-pop is? <laughs> a group of kids from the local high school stopped by the tomb, or I mean home, to visit the old fossils, and the one I was paired with would not stop talking about it. Related, what does it mean for one to be, for one to stan? I swear I used to be cool. <laughs> Aw, I was kind of pulling for Steph too. To Steph, your poll creator results are in. Dear Steph. Thank you for using Poll Creator. Please remember to tell your friends that Poll Creator is the fastest, easiest way to hear what your audience is thinking, and it's completely free. Your Poll Creator poll results are included below. KRCT listeners help Steph name the devil cat. Valkyrie, 45. Sausage, 21. Princess Knife Fingers, 13. Ghost, 11. Scream, 6%. Beelzebub, Beelzebub 2%. Steph, 2. 2%. Um, Valkyrie? I like the name Ghost. That's cool. Princess Knife Fingers? What do you call that for short? Knife? 
Yes, Val. Valkyrie is the best here. Uh, okay. Can we... What do we have here? Slow wave pulse code. Citizen of glass. I'm gonna listen to this. Maybe. Or maybe I don't. Cell phone. I don't need to use that. Um, read all ads. Read horse on laptop. I guess so that's not here. Okay, let's leave. I stuck the chore list on my laptop. Let's see what still needs doing. Charlotte and I started this book club where we read the trashiest crime novels and then talk about really how much we this? love them. Oh yeah, 2014. I for yesterday's match. Okay, I'm ready for another match. That game took a lot out of me. But then, they all do. Replay the game. Can I do another good one? Watch and learn, Steph. The master is about to go to work. Aw, that's adorable. You think you're the master? Prove me wrong. That's the plan. Okay, nice. Hey, you got something on your face. Oh, no, no, never mind. That's just what your face looks like. I'm missing all the things. No! Oh, that was lucky. Okay, but seriously, you really do have something on your face. Just shut up. Oh, it's so slow sometimes. Shame after losing to me yet again. Ugh. I'm doing good as a goalie for once. Well, I guess Maybe not. Maybe cat just doesn't like losers. Ah, uh, that's why she hates you. Hey, Gabe, where did you get that scratch on your hand? Shut up. Uh, stop it! Thank you. Uh, that, that should have hit! Fuck you! Fuck you, game. St stop it! Thank you. <sighs> what? Could it be? <laughs> After mm -hmm. all his big talk, has Gabe Chen been humiliated in his own house? You know, gloating is not very sportsmanlike. <laughs> but you gloated a lot, Gabe. Fresh goodies. Time to find your home. Ooh, this looks cool. It's so much more open in here now. Where is the cat? I haven't seen the cat anywhere yet. Water cooler. Sometimes I stand here and gossip about myself. Damn, ninja cat. I just filled this up. Ninja cat. This thing's really coming along. This is wrong more? But wait, there's more. It's all painting. The kids are wanted. The kids are wanted? Looks like some vigilante justice to me. <laughs> Let's see what Ethan does with that. Hmm. Serious box. Backseat bingo. Why does that sound familiar? No idea. Can't afford them yet. You can't just let customers pluck up all the good stuff. True. Their campaign's kind of on hiatus right now. Hmm. Game's oh spiked. shit. I need to give this back. I should probably stop sourcing my daily caloric intake from this table. No matter how many times I clean it, I can't get rid of the smell. Hmm. This is like 95% Twizzler wrappers. 
Hope the last person who used this remembered to clock out. We can't afford 15 years of overtime. Funny. Of course Fiona wanted to be a bard. Of course she did. Okay, so you still have contact with Fiona? Confusing. Fiona was amazing in this. Ah, nice. So glad you came. So maybe if we went out with more people, we would have seen more. Found this just like that in around? the corner. I'm hoping the wiring's still good. I won't rest until you're more sticker than support beam. <laughs> I might have been a little optimistic about the demand for these. Pull yourself together, Misty. Hey, horse. Did you know that gummy bears are made out of Why horse teeth? There's a horse in here. Oh, man. I'm only 20 years too late. <sighs> Still haven't figured out what's making my snare buzz. Ugh. Legends tell of a distant epoch when more than one employee's coat hung from this rack. Hmm. This is what it's come to. Bribing my cat with drugs. Are you in there, Valkyrie? Why can't I see you? Uh, let's check our computer first before we go around and check the things. But I did want to see if I could find the kitty. Oh, this is the laptop. Read short. Let's see what I have left. Oh, good. All of it. Shell comics around listening station. Clean up trash in the back room. Shell new albums in their new release section. Find a CD requested in Andy's email. All right. Just a few oh. chores left. Well, we got a phone call. Right? I heard it, only heard it once, though. Okay, that would be the second phone call we needed to take. You're on with Steph. Ah, uh, yes. nice guy. Okay. So self-proclaimed one, or I'm in trouble with HR. What did you do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day, and she said she wanted to work more on her lower body. Here it comes. What did you say? I said her butt was fine <clears> as <throat> is, and she shouldn't worry about it, which was dumb. Yeah, you think it's dumb to talk about your coworker's butt? I know, but does it really need to be a whole big thing? I'm not that it kind of guy, really. But now I'm freaking out. It all, it, it depends a little bit. It, it, it's... It's hard when somebody else brings up the fact that they want to work on their lower body. Like if you're having this conversation about working out. Um, but I think the, the, the better thing to say would... I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really talk to people about working out and things like that. But I would not also like to hear that from somebody I worked with. You know, it's, it makes it weird. If somebody says like... You don't need to work on your butt, it looks fine. Then that means that person has been looking at my butt. And while people can look at my butt <laughs> or other people's butts as much as they want, but you don't have to talk about it because that makes it weird, right? It just makes it weird. A lot of things are just better if you keep it in your head. <laughs> but sometimes, and as a person with ADHD, I understand sometimes blurting things out. And uh, then you, yeah, you end up in situations like these. So I, I don't know. How can you tell me what will happen with HR? I'll see what I can do. Okay, what do you say, D20? Is this guy screwed? Ten, the most nothing number on the die. Mm. A conversation with HR. Not much to go on from the dice roll. So. What do I think this guy deserves? A second chance, the riot act? I mean, as long as this hasn't happened several times, then he deserves a second chance. Just don't don't say people's butts looks fine when you work with them. I'm back. And usually not I'm in ready front to face either. the music. Let's just, just keep it, it in your brain. 
You sit down with HR in a hard plastic waiting room chair next to a hang in there. As long as you're not known for being creepy for about 45 sleazy comments. Minutes, they drill you on every fine, right? word of your company's sexual harassment policy, ultimately deciding that you need to apologize to her. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Because she laughed and said thanks. It was our co-workers that decided to make a big deal mm. out of it. Really, dude? I'm sorry. You can still... It's just everyone's... Yeah, you can still apologize, though. You can say that commenting on your butt was stepping over the line since we're co-workers, and I apologize, and I won't let it happen again. And maybe say, like, if you want to work on your body and work out, then try try remember to do it for you and not to meet some societal standard that society thinks your body should look like. Make sure you're, like, I hope you're doing it for you and, and to be healthy and, yeah. Something like that. I don't know. Acting like I'm, some sort I'm not of the greatest conversationalist either, you know. <laughs> I don't know what he said. Okay, relax. No one is calling you a creep. I know you not unless you make too big of a deal out of it. But you clearly did. So instead of telling some radio DJ, also a lot of women laugh things off because they feel awkward and they don't want to make any trouble. You know, and a lot of women are scared of men and scared of embarrassing men or making fun of men or uh, disagreeing with men and etc. So, so we laugh things off when we are actually uncomfortable. It's a, it's a natural instinct in a lot of ways. So when a woman laughs things off, make sure you know the real reason she's laughing, I think. Just, just see if you're... Maybe the problem. <laughs> that you screwed up and you're really a nice guy. Why don't you prove it and apologize to her? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is hard to apologize. Right. It is hard to take the stuff. Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. Uh, okay, okay. So we did that. Complete record store task. Listen to your original song. Okay, we need to do that. Wait, we got a message. Fiona, I've been wanting to hear from you forever. Okay, so I think we left off around here. So she she wanted to go to the play. Fiona put her name on the list and they couldn't wait to see each other. Uh, I feel so bad that you're taking the bus back. I would have driven you. It's fine, I like the bus. By the way, can I just reiterate how fucking great you were on stage? Aw, total badass. Stop, don't stop. <laughs> That's sort of your comfort zone, isn't it? On stage? Yeah, like you were just so confident. I don't know, I guess so. It's nice when the words are written down for you beforehand. It is, it's easy to be cool and brave when you know exactly how everything is going to turn out. Harder to do that in real life. Maybe you're right. I used to think I loved not knowing what was coming. You know you say that a lot. I used to. Wow, read for the filth after one day. You know what a difficult thing with ADHD is? It's the fact that if you get in too much of a stable routine, like everything, every day is the same, you start wanting to be impulsive and you want something new because new is exciting and exciting keeps the dopamine flowing, you know what I'm saying? But then when there's too much unstableness and too much breaking of routine, you become really anxious because you need routine to, to sort of be calmer. <laughs> It's just so annoying when you want one thing and the other at the same time. Because one thing is boring, the other thing is exciting. But too much excitement leads to anxiety and not being able to calm yourself down. And then too much calm is just, you know, you, you get it. Sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. You know you say that a lot. Sorry. Just kidding, just kidding. Sorry for picking on you. Same. So wait, quick question, if that's okay. Shoot. When we played K and C on Saturday, you fudged the roles, didn't you? What? How dare you? Okay, yeah, a little. But only because you would have totally eaten shit against that arc or ogre arch. Arc ogre? Well, thank you. You're like a really good GM, you know? <laughs> I don't know about that. It's still pretty rusty, but it was fun. If the opportunity arises. Hey, just poking it to make sure you see. Sorry to bug you, I just want to know if I should make other plans. You must be busy, maybe next weekend? 
Hey, shit, it's all right. Yeah, it's been kind of crazy over here. Try for next week? Sure. Hey, are we still on for this weekend? Hey, I got a flake. I'm sorry. Oh, stuff. Don't be the person who flakes all the time. They're going to feel like it's them. It's their fault. Okay, can I ask what's up? I think Major just can't get coverage at work. And that seems like a lie. Because you would make time for people you like, right? So it's not that you don't like the person. It's that you're struggling with yourself, right? Okay, hit me up when you have some time. Definitely. Hey, stranger. I know it's been a minute, but I need some of that quality stuff advice. Should I audition for a production of A Christmas Carol? The company is super exper experimental and weird. So maybe, so like maybe they'll do something cool with the ghosts. But there are like zero cool roles for women. Uh, zero cool roles? Super experimental and weird? If you don't have anything else, then I'd, I'll say go for it. Even if it's weird and not cool roles. If you like it, I, I still think it's fun, probably. Sure, why not? I don't know, like I really wanted to work with this company for a minute, but I really don't want to do the super heteronormative girl who broke Scrooge's heart thing. Maybe if I, if I could be one of the ghosts, it would be different. I think I'd make a pretty good ghost. You'd make a good ghost of Christmas future. You'd make a good ghost of Christmas past. You'd make a good ghost of Christmas present. I like future because that's implying that Steph would like her to be there in the future. Present is always also good, but I think I'll say future. Is there any real choice here? Gotta go with future. I knew you'd say that. I mean, you get to tell a rich jerk nobody will miss him when he dies. <laughs> you'd say that too. <laughs> yeah, sorry for being so predictable. Gosh, you okay? You sound like me, apologizing for nothing. Okay, well, I got folks coming over for game night in a minute, so I gotta hop off. Talk later? Yeah, of course. Do you mean that though, Steph? Do you mean you, of course? Or are you gonna flake? Hmm? I swear, if you're gonna flake, you don't deserve Fiona. Okay, we need to blow everybody I off though. I turned red like a week ago. Damn it, Vi. Why do you have to make it complicated? Um, do we want a message? Put it off. Well, I guess that answered the question. This sucks, stuff. I don't know whether to be angry at you or worried about you. Just talk to me. Shayna. I knew stuff in high school. She was like the most consistently positive, cheerful person ever. Eh, I don't want to answer. Um. Okay, let's go back. Out. We did, uh, we did the phone call thing. We just need to, uh... Deal with the store. So we'll go and... Oh, what was our task again? Oh geez, yeah. We show comics and stuff. Okay. Uh, and clean up trash. There was trash back here, right? I guess it's this. She means... It's you against me, trash bag! They found her body in the junkyard. Like fucking Wait. trash. Oh my god, Chloe. Oh. Where's Chloe? Oh my god, bring her back to Chloe. Oh my god, we never saw anybody else's reaction to learning about Chloe's death. So you don't want to deal with the trash. I understand. Find Andy's CD. I think Andy's CD is back here. Man. I said earlier in the game that Steph and Chloe would have been a good, good match, didn't I? Either, like, I don't know, relationship maybe, but like, friends? They have such, like, cool vibes, both of them. They're just too cool for their own good, you know? Hmm. Let's see what else. I want to look Country at this now. Country is one part heartbreak, one part liquor, and then a motherfucking fiddle that can rock your ass. <sighs> Wait. 
Which one did Gabe do again? I don't know, but I would have done the one on the right. I made a pretty similar one to the one on the right once. The only time that I made a pumpkin. It had a big, just, smile like that, but it had no nose. And it had, like, these kind of eyes. Sort of. <gasps> Fiona! Uh, yeah, of course. Hey, Steph, I'm so sorry. Question mark. Please don't be mad. It's gonna be okay. Damn it, Fiona. I know you were just trying to help. But why couldn't you just mind your own business? You know what I also didn't think about? We're gonna read this later. Um, is the fact that Chloe's death might have impacted Steph later. I was thinking Izzy was the reason that Steph was struggling, but I was thinking maybe maybe Chloe has something to do with it too. Like she lost a friend. Um Hey relax, whatever's going on, I'm sure we can talk about it. Well, I know you've been really lonely in Haven, and I thought, I don't know, if I knew what was wrong, I could help. Oh god. So I got your social media and looked at your friends list. I mean, we knew Fiona was a little bit of a researcher, didn't we? She said something in the early part of the conversation about looking things up, I think. And with all the tabs, so it's not really a surprise. And there were a bunch of people talking about what happened in Arcadia Bay. Fuck. And I wasn't trying to pry, I just wanted to help, but then I was seeing all this stuff that was really none of my business. No wonder this time of year is rough for you. Wait, did... Can we really die at this time of year? I did not remember that. This is a huge fucking violation. Now you know. Now you know. Shit, I guess you know why I'm so fucked up right now. Are you okay? Fiona did this because she cares. And because she didn't know how to address it. And that is a really good sign to me. It's never easy bringing up something that's really shitty and sucks. I don't think you should talk about it over message though. Because it just... I find typing messages really difficult. So if you see me comment on things on my videos, if you comment on a video and I comment back, know that it takes me sometimes a couple days to think of what to write. And sometimes I, I try to think of something to write and then I don't do it. And then I just like your comment instead because I don't know how to phrase what I want to reply and therefore I don't reply. So. I, with, with liking your comment, it shows that I read it and, and I liked it, you know, but <laughs> I have a hard time typing replies and this goes for like Twitch chats or sending mes messages by phone. If I talk to, to friends on Snapchat, I'd rather like make a video where I talk rather than type it out because I feel like I can't express myself by typing a lot of the times. But other times talking out loud also doesn't feel like I can express myself. I think it's just a whole ADHD thing, honestly. I don't know, don't really want to talk about it. Uh, let's say I don't know. I don't want to say I don't want to talk about it. I have no idea. I would love to say yes, but what could you do? There's the sorry stuff. Well, I don't really know what to say. Maybe the only fair thing to do is to tell you that. That I don't know how to deal with something like this, how to help you. Maybe you can't. I know, that's what I'm trying to say. Are you breaking up with me? I'm breaking up with you. I don't want to break up! I don't want to break up. Nobody's saying that they're going to break up or thinking about breaking up. She just don't know how to help you. And that's fair. We don't always have a way to help somebody. And sometimes admitting that is a way to just show that you're there to listen. I'm not going to break up with her. I'm going to ask if she's breaking up with me though. Though I don't really think she is. Are you dumping me, Fiona? No, I don't think so. Or maybe? I don't know. That's not a clear... Fiona, what do you mean? It's just that you know me. I'm not good at being someone's emotional anchor. I'm scared of everything and I'm bad at pretending to be strong. That's really good things though. You don't have to be good at being someone's emotional anchor and you can be scared of everything. And bad at pretending to be strong, that's fine. You don't need to pretend to be strong. Either you are sometimes weak. I don't like saying weak or strong because they just feel wrong to me, but you don't need to pretend to be something that you're not. Maybe right now I'm not what you need. And maybe the nicest thing I can do for you is to be honest about that. Please take care of yourself, okay, Steph? But also I think Fiona seems to be saying that if Steph is struggling for a long time, then it's kind of hard to be around and she doesn't know how to help. And if Steph is not letting her in, then she wants to take a step back until Steph can figure things out. Maybe. 
You too. I was really sad though. I was liking Fiona. I don't want anybody else than Fiona. Mm. Get it? Steph picks instead of staff picks? Ryan made me do it. I would not have put two and two together there, but I'm not very I good at understanding his belly. Stuff like that? <laughs> Chef Betty's been getting a lot of traffic from this Bolton board. Think I'll ask for my cut and risotto. Oh, you I got a this good chair now. Chair out here, and I haven't even used it for a nap yet. Crimp. Um, I've lost 20 years of lower back functionality using this goddamn relic. Hanging plant. Brian says it's state law for every place of business to feature living greenery, and I still can't tell if he's lying. Definitely getting this one framed. Thanks for being my practice model. You were too wrapped up in the ju jukebox. I was gonna say juice box? Game to notice. Low char. <laughs> Hello, Char. Check mail? You gotta grab this from the CD section. Uh, CD hold request. I was hoping to put a CD on hold with you guys. It's the new Apocalypse Red album. I just want to make sure I get a copy. Thanks so much, Andy. Oh, yeah, Andy's CD. Okay. Yeah, we'll get to we that. We haven't exactly been getting the cream of the crop for this job opening. Uh, I'm the kind of guy that when people talk to me, I make them feel like a million bucks. I listen to a lot of music and also on the radio. If you hire me as a DJ, you won't regret it. Work experience, camp counselor, dogs, write songs, listen to music. He seems like a good guy. I mean, I don't know about his description of making everybody feel like a million bucks, but... <laughs> it's fine, I, I guess. I can't believe this was gathering dust in the back. When it could have been gathering dust out here. True. You know, one of the things I love so much about the Life is Strange games is that a lot of the conversations feel so real. And a lot of the jokes are jokes that are pretty good. They're not like dad jokes. Well, some are, of course, but the conversations seem a lot natural, like very natural. And the thoughts and the mannerisms of these people, like I really, really this like up it. Like a week after I printed a new one, which is one of those good problems. Nice. Cardboard stand. So glad I decided to hang on to this monstrosity. <laughs> no, Ryan. They mean remaining players who also hatched a dragon egg. Duh. The rules are pretty darn clear. I demand a rematch. Secret of the Dragon's Den. If two or more players hatch a dragon egg, car egg card at the same time, the player with the most dragon egg cards may summon the Elder Dragon first. If that player cannot pay the mana cost, the Elder Dragon visits the remaining players in descending order of dragon egg cards south. Okay, I don't know what Steph said though. I can't even imagine working the shop in the throes of beetle mania. Sobe's music, 1968. I wonder how long it. Man, the nine. I can't imagine We've doing the same before. job for like. Let's look at the CD section. See if we can find and uh, Andy's CD. Found it. Terror is so young, unimaginable. I love that we're getting flashbacks into the other games. I mean, generally the first game when on, it comes to this one, but I love when they connect the Life is Strange stories like this. Oh, we need to answer the phone again. I mean, we could not, but I wanna, I wanna hear it. <clears throat> answer. Thanks calling. for calling KRCT. You're on with Steph. Hey. Soccer Hi. girl. I've, um, this is my first time calling, so sorry if I get it wrong. Uh, no wrong answers. Hey, don't worry. There's no way to get it wrong. 
she seems very nervous so i'm not gonna i'm gonna say that right. one uh thanks well i played on my high school soccer team last year yeah since all the rec leagues here stop at age 16 and this girl on the team is just i don't know the worst uh like, girls i know i'm awkward sometimes i'm not like a cool girl mm-hmm but that's no excuse for her to torture me like she does. Agreed. I don't want to stop playing. Soccer is the only thing I've ever really been good at. I guess what I want to know is, I want to stand up for myself. Oh. But will that turn out well? Or should I just call it quits now? Okay, standing up for yourself is a rough one. Because when you stand up to bullies, that can make it worse. When you stand up to people, or if you set boundaries, it can be setting boundaries in a relationship as well, or friends. A lot of people don't tend to take that well. They get defensive. So if you're standing up against a bully, they get defensive sometimes in a violent way, or sometimes in a, we're gonna now be even bitchier against you. Uh, if you're doing it in a relationship, if you're with the wrong person, then they, and they can't handle you setting boundaries or uh, defending yourself in a situation, then then <laughs> I don't really feel good about that relationship going on for a long time. And if you set boundaries in friendship groups and they don't listen to those boundaries and keep breaking them, then they're not really good friends. Uh, but if you, if you set boundaries in the right circumstances, I think even like if I overstep a person's boundary and they say that to me, I think my first instinct would be to get hurt. I think a lot of us would feel like that. I think knowing that it's not you being a bad person for overstepping a boundary, but that you made a mistake. If you can think like that, that it's not nothing wrong with you for overstepping a boundary. You, you might not know people's boundaries. A lot of the times we overstep things. We say things, we hurt somebody by the words we use, or we overstep boundaries. And very few times people bring that up because we are probably scared of conflict. So we, we don't say that a person overstepped our boundary. But if that person comes to me and say that, my first instinct would be to be hurt because I think I'm a terrible person and, and I would beat myself up for it. And that makes it hard for that other person to tell you, keep telling you that or be safe, feel safe enough to tell you that you're overstepping a boundary. So we really need to work on ourselves that when people bring things like that up, it's just a mistake you made. And you might not have known about that boundary. And if you did know about that boundary and you have overstepped it twice, then you really need to take a look at yourself and make sure you don't do it again. Because a good friend or a good family member or a good partner would really work hard to not hurt their friend or partner, etc. And it's not because you're a bad person, because we're, we make mistakes. But it's hard to hear, right? It's hard to hear that you've done something to hurt somebody else. Because if you're empathetic, you don't want to hurt anybody. So it's hard to, to hear that you might have hurt somebody by being you. And you take that as you being wrong, but that's not the case. We're just humans and we make mistakes and that's fine. But we can make it better and we can listen and if we listen and accept it then that person can feel safe enough to tell you in the future as well long rant that legitimately <sighs> sucks let me see what i can see and throughout these games you have heard me talk about a lot of different themes and things and i just want to remind you guys that i'm not good at any of the things i talk about i keep making me i mean i even admitted it now you know that my reaction would probably not be good either but i'm talking about a lot of these things to also remind myself of them and it's really been helping it's almost like life is strange has been therapeutic in some way for me because it deals with so many human emotions and thoughts and and then I can talk about it and then I can remind myself of how I want to be and how I can be better. I mean, not better, but how I can learn. And it's been really nice to talk about these things. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this journey. So it's it's really fun. And I really enjoyed these uh, chats with uh, on Steph's story here too. It's cool. Okay, let's check to die. Oof, five. Oh, yeah. Great luck. Um, Bullies are the worst. Yes. Especially when they ruin something you love. Yes. What do I tell her? I don't want her that to was stop. A pretty bad role. I want her to 
Ooh, okay, you stop caring, that's better. Because, I know, facing a bully is, uh... When people are young, it's even sometimes harder. I mean, sometimes when people are really old, it's also hard to make people change or make them listen, I guess. Um, I don't want her to stop or quit. I don't want her to quit. But I wish you'd maybe bring it up to... Like, maybe you have, like, a, a nurse or something at the school you can talk to, or, like, a person or a friend you can rent, rent to. But I'll see you stop caring. All right. Ready to hear your future? Yeah. What is it? Good news. It gets a lot better. Because of you. Her hateful crap starts to sound like white noise and everything changes. I... I've tried that. She always finds a way to get to me. I don't... How do I not care? You learn your worth, you care about soccer more. I think it is a lot about learning your worth. Because if you believe the things she says, then you don't think you have a lot of worth. And if you believe that... If you think that you could never be that mean to somebody else, that already makes you like better than that person who's a mean bully. And if you're better than the mean bully, then you shouldn't really listen to what the mean bully is saying. And then you can try to start believing in yourself. So I, I guess I'll, I'll say you learn You figure worth. out what you think of yourself and you realize she's wrong. Her jabs stop hurting because you know in your heart of hearts that they're BS. Yeah. Easier said than done. I never said it was easy, but it is worth it. I just don't believe it's really going to happen. Well, if it helps, I've been there. Really? Yeah. Middle school, high school. I thought I'd have to move away to make it stop. Kids like this girl of yours have a nose for what makes you different. They sense yes. weird and they get their claws out. And I'd rather be weird but if than you be you figure mean. out what makes you weird and embrace it, arm yourself with it, you take it out of their hands and into yours. They're left with no ammunition. For me, it was coming out. For you, who knows? But whatever makes you weird is also what makes you a badass. Trust Heck yeah, me. Steph. Thanks, Steph. That does help. A lot. You're welcome. And thanks for calling. Yeah, that's really good. I love that. Okay. Um, I guess we go back to the shop. Is there one more? And like a chapter or part after this because I feel like this isn't the end of this one so we might have another episode of this which I would love uh stock new releases and reshell comics um okay but I don't how know to become a home inspector includes 10 last. aggressively personal journal prompts and they're amazing wait comic rack there we go shell vox machina More sirens. I am so not having this right now. I guess you never dealt with it. Last chore. Or just I mean, get it done. You, you she might have dealt with it, but it doesn't make it less hard stuff in your releases. Uh it doesn't make it easy what I love also about life is strange is that they can make so many DLCs that will be interesting to learn more about the side characters because the side characters are also really interesting they can still make DLCs of the in the first game about the friendships between the other characters so that when you replay the first like game, any other day, it'll just like mean any even more. Other fucking day. Gabe, Gabe's a great friend. More importantly, he's got booze. <laughs> when I'm done here, I'll close up the DJ booth and call him. Yeah. Close up booth. Listen to your original song. Okay, we haven't listened to the song yet. Where is your song? Hasn't it been like here before? Original song, here it is. Been a while since I've worked on my song. 
ish okay. thing. I want to hear it. <sighs> oh yeah, we added pop. With this one for like half a year, and I still don't know what it's supposed to be. Well, we don't need to know. Uh, as I, I said like earlier, it, if you work so far and do not enough, if you keep doing not enough, it might turn into something. But if you don't do anything because you don't think it'll lead anywhere, then of course it's gonna keep being nothing. So, come on, guys, we can do not enough. We can do it. Maybe I should start writing again. God, I don't. I have no time for anything. Actually, what I have been doing recently. I mean, we we're just talking about this music, this nice vibe. Uh, I've been painting a little bit because I, I bought one of those paint by numbers paintings because I wanted to paint something that was actually kind of something. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's been lying in in the in the shed or in the cupboard or whatever uh, for like two years because I was like, I, I can never finish it because it takes too long and it's too like fiddly and and it hurts, my neck hurts by being that close to it and everything. So I haven't, um, I haven't put, put it, pulled it out, but then I was like, well, it's never gonna get finished if it's in there. So you might as well just take it out. And even if you have only 10 minutes to like paint a little bit, that's one step closer to getting it finished. So I've been doing that and I'm not even halfway, but I'm getting closer at least. It might sound pretty dope with a breakdown. <laughs> Right? Oh, and a vocal track. Yo. A triumphant breakdown, a dark breakdown. On the dark. Maybe I'll really bring Even though that doesn't maybe not the suit breakdown. the um, the poppiness of it. Where the heck did I put this? Sticky note. It's gonna be a lot of work, Ugh. but I'm on a roll now. Anthemic, like anthemic and triumphant would have been cool to hear too, I guess. Can I listen to it now? With that, or have you not added that probably? Okay, <clears throat> well that's not that. Happy Halloween. Why can't I see the freaking cat though? I've been so excited to see the cat. And the cat is just like no show for a few yeah. boxes. I'm gonna leave the rest of this for the new employee, <clears> assuming <throat> I can get one. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay, close up booth is the last thing on our list. I swear the cat is probably just hiding somewhere and it's like find find the cat. Brian says it's state law for every place of business to feature living greenery. And, and I'm I just blind. still can't tell if he's lying. I don't know if there's anything else. Close up, enter. Let's close up. Also, this episode has been quite long. Interesting. Gabe, <laughs> listen. I want to drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? Ugh. I'll be right there. Mikey. Can't face it. Oh, is that what Mike is calling on this day? Because of what happened? <clears throat> From North Star to Enchanter Tim. Subject, I understand. I understand, okay? I know how this time of year is. When these memories attack you and all you want to do is shut them out. I know you would give anything to get through tonight without thinking of Arcadia Bay, or Chloe, or me. But just in case, I'm here for you, and I always will be. No matter how fucking terrible this night always is, I'm not the least bit sorry that I still have you in my life. And I know you feel the same, even if you're the literal worst at showing it. Anyway, you know I'm around, and could definitely use some gaming distraction. No pressure, really. But I'm around, Mikey. Thank you, Mikey. Oh, fuck. Damn it, Mikey. <clears throat> is this the next 
day or is this the same? Well, they're doing it. It's cool really that glad we can they can do tonight. stuff like this in long distance. Like I said, this time of year for me. It's... Hi, Mikey. It's good to see you. Well, you know. So you blew off Gabe yeah. then. <laughs> to hang on Mikey. Damn. I approve. Why am I such a downer? <laughs> Come on. Let's see what monsters and trickery you have planned for Elamon to breeze past this week. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, I was gonna end it here, but there is a part after this. Cause I did, I had to Google it. So there was a spring, summer, autumn, and then there's a winter part. And then there might be a part after winter. So I think maybe winter and that part will be in one. But I think we just need to see this through, even though this episode will be a little bit longer. Haven't gotten much use out of the screen in our virtual campaign, but... I like having it around. If I died tomorrow, this notebook would be the most comprehensive and confusing record of my life. As if anybody looked at my um, writing stuff on my computer, they would be probably really confused because it's all, more all over the place. I love my it. My sci professor called that scope creep. The courageous and heroic warrior, Elamon. Mm hmm Make all the plans you want. In the end, the dice decide. Okay. Let's read this. I need to check my notes. Hey, take your time. I think I might need to read this. We playing or not? Shh, Wells is coming. Penis! Rachel and <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> <laughs> I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? <sighs> Pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. Sure thing. I'm gonna bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. You got this. Everything okay? Use this box. Just from Just some memories. Good memory or bad memory? Is there a difference? I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. Mm hmm I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. <laughs> Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. It was a lot. I and think a lot of people now? didn't see behind that. Guilt? Anger? Guilt? I feel so fucking guilty that I spent even one second being anything but appreciative that they were in my life. You really think you did anything wrong? You were a kid. They didn't deserve my jealousy. They deserved so much better. Look, Steph. What you're feeling... I'm fine. Come on, let's keep playing. Okay, let's move Elamon. I believe Elamon was about to enter the mayor's hidden bunker. Sounds right. Chloe and I weren't best friends or anything. But she was there for me when it mattered. She wasn't afraid of anything. I think she was afraid of a lot Same of for things, Rachel. but they pretended. She always said Chloe saved her life. But I'm pretty sure that went both ways. And if she could have, I know Chloe would have stopped at nothing to save Rachel. Because that's how strong she was. Rest in peace, Chloe. Rest in peace, Rachel. Fuck. I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's not a bad it's idea. Cool. We can stop. Yeah. No. 
I don't know. It's hard listening to I was to hiding the in the back, you know? I was supposed to speak after you, but... I realized that if I stood up there, mm. I'd have to look at everyone. Chloe's mom. Rachel's parents. Half the town. There was no way. So I bailed. I would have bailed too. I was not a very... I've never been a very good or... Pub, uh, or I never really liked public speaking. I don't know if you guys have anything like this, but here in Norway we have something called like a confirmation, which means that when you're 15, I think either it's the year you turn 15 or it's the year you turn 16, I'm not quite sure, but it's, you can either like do it through church or if you don't believe in that, you can do it just a different way. But you, you, you sort of celebrate that you're coming into like adulthood or honestly, I don't know too much about it. Uh, <laughs> but you get a lot of money from your family and you have like a, a family party, I guess, or like a gathering more like. And then a lot of people uh, have speeches and stuff during it. And it's, uh, it's a really nice moment and like you dress up and stuff. And I know a lot of the con Confirmationist, I don't know, like the child, um, have speeches too and like thank the people for coming there and say thank you for the gifts and stuff. Yeah, I, I, that was not happening. Like, I, for me, like 15, 16, I was a scaredy cat. <laughs> and I would, I would never, I would, I just could not imagine myself speaking and saying thank you. Now, when I think about it, it would be a really simple thing. Because you literally just thank your people for being there, for helping you when you've grown up. And and it's just, it would be nice to be able to say thank you, but I could never. My niece, though, she did, and she was amazing. Like, oh, but yeah, I could never. So I can imagine, like, something like this, something that's so big, like a friend has died or been killed, rather. And then you have to face both your emotions and say something that's fitting and people are looking at you and oh just i i i, I totally Everyone understand is. that 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 must be that's hard how did you do it i don't understand how you did it me neither i just yeah kind of did yeah when i think about chloe and rachel my whole grip on reality falls away the people I care about, the stuff I like, how can any of it matter? What kind of world is it that lets that shit happen? I'll let you know if I figure it out. Yeah, you never you really don't get an answer to that. Let's try. You never really figure out the reasoning or... Yeah. I always found focusing on the good moments and hoping that the there's some bad roles coming and that the future can be better. That's kind of what I like focusing on. That even despite the shit, let's see what horrible the future can hold something better in the next room. Bring it on. And then focus on the good things you have now. If you do have any good things, even if that's just a good book or a show you like. And that's minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking... Why don't you come? It'll be... Well, you know... It'll be fucking horrible, but maybe a little less horrible if we're both there. Yeah, that sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you, again. When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. But you didn't. Because he likes you? Why? Because he knows he's struggling? Because... I what mean, like, think? as a friend. Because you're sentimental, because I'm so broken. Because he also needs somebody on this day? 
because I'm such a car wreck of a person, you can't look away even if you want to. It's really funny. It's funny. It's really. I mean, it's not funny, but it's interesting seeing her in this state because I feel like we saw Chloe a lot in that state, and even Rachel. Like they, they feel like they're so broken because they have a dark past or they have struggles. And I don't really think you're broken because you have struggles. I think that's exactly a very natural state to be in, because if you don't have a lot of hard struggles then then who the fuck are you because i feel like we all have shit and uh it's it's kind of funny that she thinks she's broken because of it yeah I don't know, it's interesting fuck but it's funny seeing the similarities yeah, i've taken a lot of shit from you over the years but this i need you yeah, I thought as much. That's why I keep coming back. They were such In high a school, pair. I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. You are, but I understand. I understand. That's it. It's pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? It's not. I'm sorry. Mikey. I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you that makes you feel any better. I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't. But, continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay... It's like the moment I start to care about someone, or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. And, you know, like thinking, uh, this episode is so freaking long. Uh, I won't be able to record anything else today after this, but... I want to talk about my impression of Steph throughout True Colors. Because we didn't get a lot. I, I kept saying that, that I didn't really feel much of a connection. And seeing this, it makes sense because she was laughing things off. She was making jokes. She, she, she had this hard shell because she didn't dare open up. So it makes sense that... I don't like my hair today. Um, it makes sense that you didn't really see a lot. And which made it easier for me to choose Ryan because he was opening up. He was having these deep conversations with Alex. But seeing this really makes it like I knew there was more to stuff right I knew there was more but you couldn't really see what and also I didn't connect her with Arcadia Bay and if I had maybe I would understand more and notice more things not sure but could could be but seeing this makes me really interested in the relationship between Alex and Steph and if we could have made something happen there and if I could get more into Steph and her struggles if I'd chosen Steph. So I can't wait to replay the game is what I'm saying because then I can choose Steph and we can get some new things and I can like see more into Steph's life because I'm really enjoying this DLC and learning more about Steph. Steph would be a great main character. Um, so Maybe interesting. Okay. Maybe being a flaky lesbian punk nerd is your destiny. Mm, I don't think she wants like that destiny. Elamon, adventure will always find you. I did find her in this. That's promising. I never thought of it that way. Hey, that's why I'm here. That's why you have friends, because they have don't different. You as a best friend. They have different viewpoints. But I promise, I'll do better. Don't make promises you can't keep. Because the truth is, I need you too. But trying, even if it's not enough, is good. Now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. <laughs> he is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything. And don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Mmm, oh, cool. No, I like that. I like 
that. Yep, so this is the winter section, which means we're gonna end okay. here. Okay. All right, it's time to end this one. There, th I don't think this episode was as long as it's been recording it because I talked a lot during this. There was so many interesting things that came into my mind that I wanted to talk about. And like I said, I just love how these games have made me almost like myself better because I've talked about things that just makes us human and mistakes are okay to make and that doesn't make you a bad person if you do them and just that also lifts me up. I, I really hope that some of these things that I've talked about also lifts you up out there and allows yourself to forgive yourself with things because we make mistakes and we say bad things at certain times and hurt people that's natural and you're not beyond help even if you have made or done things in the past that are super shitty because you can always change and you you can always learn and even if you feel stuck in life you can always just take small steps even if the step is in the exact same spot at least you're moving even if you paint for five minutes you, you're getting somewhere even if it might not seem like it and two years from now you might be somewhere else or you might just be a little further along so there's there's so many cool things about these games i really love it the only thing that I hate about myself is my memory. And I'm gonna keep hating on my freaking memory because I feel like it's not gonna change no matter what. So I can just hate on it and just accept it at the same time. Because I swear there's so many things throughout the Life is Strange games that I've now forgotten. But what's good about it, because there is a good thing about it, is that playing them again might feel like almost the first time when I do play them again. So I guess that's the good side. But generally I just wish my memory is better. But hey, can't change what I can't change, so you can only learn how to deal with it or accept it. Or there might be some tips and tricks on how to improve your memory, perhaps. I have not found those things to improve my memory though, so for me it's just accepting and hating at the same time. <laughs> anyway, I am done talking today. I get so tired from this, from just investing so much of myself into this. God. So, I will go relax. I hope you have a lovely day too. Relaxing or working or uh, fiddling with stuff. I hope you have a good day. So, as always, if you enjoyed this video, you can like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.